Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at the new Safari reading list feature. So reading list is a new feature in Safari 5.1. It's kind of like temporary bookmarks. Let's take a look. So say you're in Safari and you see an article you want to read but you don't have time right now. So what you can do is add it to your reading list. Now if you have the bookmarks bar open which is right here you can open or close it by selecting hide or show bookmarks bar. You've got these little eyeglasses here which is the reading list icon. Click on that and the left side will expand to show your reading list. This one's empty so it's just a message about how to use it. Now I still see the page I'm viewing on the right here and I can use the add page button to add it to my reading list there. So say I go to another page and I want to add that to the reading list as well. I can just jump to that page, add page, and now I've got two there. But I could also do more than that. I could do things like say control click on a page. So I see a link to something I want. I can control or right click on that link and put add link to reading list. That will be another way to add it to there as well. And there are menu item choices too under bookmarks. You can add to reading list there and you can see there's a keyboard shortcut shift command D to add to a reading list. Now at any time you can use the eyeglasses icon to get rid of your reading list or show it. Uh, if you have it shown you can jump to any item in the reading list by simply clicking on it. So I can jump back to this item like that. Now notice there are two modes for the reading list. You can see all of the items or just the ones that are unread. Now a new item you add will of course be unread. When does an item get marked as read? Well it's a little bit of a mystery to me. It seems like you have to be on the page for a certain amount of time and then also have to maybe switch or close the reading list here. So I've been on this page for a bit and you can see it still doesn't change it. If I jump to this page there you can see it got rid of that first one. You can also hit clear all to clear your entire reading list. You can also to add pages to reading list do things like even drag and drop links from the page. Now you can do that from other applications as well and the control click trick works as well too. So for instance if you're in mail and you get a mail message uh, with a link in it you can control click on it and add it to your Safari reading list even though you're not in Safari. So this kind of looks like a single linear list of items like bookmarks and the only difference being that when you check something it's marked as read and it's only available in the all list instead of in the unread list. But there's a little bit more to it. It syncs wirelessly using iCloud. So when we have iOS devices with iOS 5 you'll be able to add an item to your reading list in Safari on your Mac and then see it appear in the reading list on your iOS devices and vice versa. So you could potentially mark items in your Mac that you later want to read while you're on the go or mark items that you see while you're on the go so you read them when you're sitting at your desk. You can also think of it as a temporary bookmarks area. So things that you don't necessarily want to bookmark and have permanently in your bookmarks you can just save over there read it later as the reading list idea would suggest and then discard it. You can easily uh, select an item and then you saw there was a little X that appeared next to any item in the reading list so you can get rid of it that way or control click on it will allow you to delete that item from the reading list. You can also use it as a kind of online to do list. Things that you need to go and do online and the idea is to keep your reading list clear at the end of the day. So for instance you get an email saying you have a bill due and instead of leaving that email in your inbox as you may do now until you pay that bill you can simply add the link to the website by right clicking on it in your email adding it to your reading list then remove the email from your inbox go to the reading list later on when you have time and see that oh I've got an item here that links to this bill I need to pay. Now don't confuse the reading list feature with reader. Reader is a button that appears in the address bar for a news article or blog post where it will get rid of all the rest of the things on the web page and only show you the text in a larger font. There are complementary features. Certainly things that you add to your reading list may be things that you use with reader but they're not really connected. You go to a reading list page and then you would have to find the reader button just as you would if you went to the page any other way. So if you found this look at Safari's new reading list feature useful, till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos 
by category. 